Hello everybody. How is it going? Lots of things happening at the eruption site, as always, and so much so that the area was evacuated a few days ago after the lava suddenly came rushing into Nautai Valley, and trails are being closed in case the lava starts to flow over the walls originally constructed to redirect its flow. The lava is soon overflowing all valleys and redirection walls, which is crazy to think. To sum up the recent months I have been away, the eruption has been taking more than one week breaks just to come back stronger each and every time. In case you have missed it, the volcano or eruption is a shield volcano which is known to have pools of lava form in bowls that break now and then, creating these huge rivers of lava. The latest data came in 9th of September and at that time the lava produced by the eruption now covers 4.63 kilometers squared. And the volume of the lava is 142.7 million cubic meters. The lava flow sits at a comfortable 8.5 cubic meters per second, but as you can see, in August it reached an all time high of over 16 cubic meters per second, which was crazy. In case you'll ever get bored of the beautiful eruption in Faraldasvell, which is very hard, there are plenty of other volcanoes ready to go. Askja just recently started showing signs of magma starting to accumulate in the volcano's main system. The scientists know that, since the land around Askja is rising. As always, there is no way to say for sure if it is going to erupt, and as of now, it is more likely for the magma to cool down and not reach the surface. So, as you can tell, I'm not dead. It's been almost four months since my last entry, which makes this a rather long break. I've always wanted to come back to uploading, but I just didn't feel like it made sense since it had been so long. Then just time went by and by. But I want to give it another go and try to be more consistent, as I really like these videos and making them for you guys, and you seem to really enjoy them. March 19th, 2021 is the day the eruption started, after all the events following it. That's 183 days ago. Just recently beating the eruption in Holerun, which lasted 180 days. That was a huge eruption. This milestone makes it makes Faradas This milestone makes the Faradasfjall eruption the longest lasting eruption of this century. And is heading for the title for the longest in Iceland's recorded history which was Surtsey eruption in the 20th century. It lasted for almost four and a half years, from 1963 to 1967. Anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I hope to see most of you in the next video.